a lot of singles want to get married. Some who are married are crying. And if you look at the level of divorce, it's on the high side. What is the problem? So let's look at the reason why, or the reasons why we have a lot of divorces everywhere. Number one, wrong motive of getting married. People are getting married now for the wrong reason. They are not getting married because of marriage. But they are getting married because they want financial security. I want a man to provide for me. I'll marry me and marry my mother. Marry me and marry my father. Marry me and marry my sibling. Marry me and build a house for my village. I want to marry a medical doctor because I want to show people that my husband can heal the sick. Or can even cure. I want to get married to a lawyer because my father has a lot of land cases, a lot of land cases, and I want to show my village people that I can bring in a lawyer. So many people are getting married because they want financial security, both the men and the women. Nowadays, men are looking for women who have big money, who, who are coming from a big background, a background that is solid in money. And that is the wrong reason. Sooner or later, that marriage is going to crash. Who are those who are getting married? They are those who are not prepared. Abraham Lincoln said, prepare for an opportunity that may never come. Then you meet an opportunity and you're not prepared. But of course, you want to get married. So get ready for marriage. Because if you're not prepared for marriage, you can't handle it. Ill preparation will still amount to nothing. One another reason why there are divorces everywhere is because people do not know their roles. The woman doesn't know who she is. If every woman is answering Mrs. Help me, there will be less problem. She will understand she is there to help. She is not to lord it over the man. And if a man will understand the Bible, husbands love your wives. As Christ loves the church. Kai. That is a powerful scripture. That if every man will understand that. There will not be problem. Because Christ loved the, the church so much. That he gave himself. He died. They did evil. He didn't do anything. He said I'm going to die for them. They stoned him for saving us. But he gave his life. And the Bible says. Husbands love your wives. As Christ loves the church. So if every man understands this, there won't be a problem. And if every woman understands that she is there to help him to become. Another reason why there are a lot of divorces today is that Eve don't now meet Adam in the Garden of Eden. They rather drag Adam there. You're thwarting and perversing what the word of God says. The man he made, he put in a garden. He made. So, sir, who formed you? Because anybody who formed you will control you. A lot of men, fashion formed them. A lot of men, education formed them. A lot of men, money formed them. A lot of men, friends formed them. Whoever forms you, informs you. But the man God made, whoever made you, he put in the garden. Then from the rib of the man, he made a woman. He took the woman by hand and took him to Adam. So women, wait for him to take you to the man. And the man you went to meet, you met him in the garden of Eden. Do not drag him there. Meet him there. And if you don't allow God to take you there, and you try to use corner corner to meet the man, the man is going to treat you like the very first thing he saw when he opened his eyes, which were animals. And God said, give them a name. Any name you call them, that's what they will answer. So allow God to make you woman. Allow him to form you and allow him to take you by hand. That's why you see the father of the bride holding her daughter by the hand and walking down the aisle. That was what happened in the garden of Eden. And God took the woman and handed her over. to. And that was the woman God made. So young ladies, if you want to see Adam, allow God to make you. Allow him to mold you. 
and then you will see that we will be far away from divorce. God bless you.